everybody. Okay, so here's the part two to my um, ritual circle casting setup, whatnot. Um, and in this part, I'm going to actually run through with you guys from start to finish what I do when I cast a circle. Now, I have everything written out and typed out and whatnot because when you do something for so long, sometimes you ad lib, sometimes, I mean, you just, you know what you're going to say. And I get so off topic with stuff that I figure, okay, if I write down step A through step, you know, whatever, then I can give you guys exactly what I do and not get, you know, oh man, what did I just talk about? What did I just do? So I've got it all right now. So let's get started. Um, now, some people have ritual baths before they get started. Some people dress in certain clothes. Um, I feel like if I'm comfortable, then that's what I do. I mean, if I'm doing some big working like healing or something, I may do a ritual bath. I may dress in, you know, white or something like that. But normally, you know, if I'm comfortable in this, I will wear this when I'm doing ritual. Um, you know, it's kind of like when you go to church, how, you know, they expect you to dress up. Well, you know, if I'm talking to my deities on a daily basis, I don't feel like I have to um, dress up and be all prim and proper in front of them. I want to be myself. So if I want to wear this, this is what I'm going to wear. Now my first thing I have down is purification of the self. And what I mean by that is, you know, take a minute and just sit. Listen. Just be. And I don't like using the word meditate because I don't like, when I think of meditate, I think of, okay, I have to completely clear my mind of everything and anything, and if anything creeps in, I have to hurry up and get rid of it. I can't, that's just not possible for me. Now, I do like to sit, I think about what happened throughout my day, I release it, I relax, you know, get in that magical frame of mind where you're not completely stressed out because of what happened. Just let everything go and get relaxed for ritual. After that, um, I actually start casting my circle. Now, I personally cast with my athame. Um, some people use their finger, you know, you can use a whole bunch of different things. I like using my athame. And I walk around the circle three different times. The first time I walk around, you know, I'll start at north, and I walk all the way around the circle with my athame pointed down. And I always have my finger here, because I feel like it helps the energy flow through better. It's just me. Um, but I, the first time I walk around, I imagine white or blue or purple light coming out of the end of this, coming from me out of the end, and forming the circle and forming like this bubble that comes up and above me and below me. I'm in trance, I'm in a bubble. And while I say that, I walk around and I say, as I walk this circle around, I consecrate the sacred ground. Oh, nope. Oh. That's the second walkthrough. Just kidding. Just kidding. See what I mean? Even though I have it right out, I screw things up. Okay, so the first time I walk around, all I do, I focus my energy into this. White light, you know, your bubble. Get your circle set up. The second time I go around, um, I mix salt, which is earth, and water together in a separate bowl. So, you know, I'll put some water in a bowl put some salt in the bowl. I'll mix them together with my finger and then I'll go around like this and I will, that is going to be my way of uh, purifying everything with the elements of earth and water. And when I do that, I walk around my circle, I physically walk around my altar and I say, as I walk this circle around, I consecrate the sacred ground and as I walk, I call to thee, God and Goddess, please join me. So that's my first time around. I sprinkle everything, make sure everything's all consecrated. The second time around, I take a candle and incense, and that is my fire in, in the air. And I take those around as well, and I say, the sacred, the sacred space is now complete, a place of protection where worlds may meet, a circle of magic and energy, and as it will, so mote it be. Now that is my personal way of purifying the whole circle with all four of the different elements. 
to get all of that nasty energy out, to keep all the good stuff in, and to purify it all. Then I start with the elements. And um, I will take, you know, um, one of the candles that's already lit and go around and I will stand at each corner, light the candle, and as I say it, or as I light it, I'll say, Hail, guardians of the north, element of air. I call upon you to lend me your sacred powers and to protect and witness this sacred rite. When I'm done saying what I have to say and talking to earth, or um, talking to the north, I set it down, go to east, which is earth for me. Say the same thing, only I put in east and earth where north and air were. And then I go to the south, do the same thing, to the west, same thing. And so now that your elements are all called in, all your watchtowers are here, then I call in the god and goddess. And I used to have a different way of doing it, and then I found um, Charming Pixie Flora's uh, Eight Simple Sabbats, I think that's what it's called, her book. And the way that she does it, I fell in love with it, so I adapted that. So this is from her. I call you down, great goddess, maiden, mother, and crone, to enter this circle. Be with me now, in accordance with free will, and the good of all, so mote it be. So I say that, and as I'm saying that, I light the goddess candle. And if I'm doing a big circle, like something, you know, that's really, really important, or um, mostly like for the sabbats or the espets, I will also throw in the charge of the goddess, which you can find online, you can find it in almost every book. I throw that in there. It just gives you that extra, oh, that extra powerful feeling. Um, and it's really awesome. I don't know if you've ever actually read the words to the charge of the god and the goddess, but they're awesome. So after I call in the goddess, then I call in the god. Same thing. I call you down, great god, boy, father, and sage, to enter this circle. Be with me now in accordance with free will and the good of us all. So mote it be. Light the god candle. Now after everybody's called in, you called everybody, you know, you did your thing, that's when you work your magic. You know, do your spell, do your mojo bag, do whatever reason that it is that you called this circle. You know, so no, 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 okay, I did my spell. Um, while you're doing your spell, and you know, some people do it before, some people do it after, um, I do it after. I do my spell, and then you have to raise your energy. You know, raise, raise your focus so that you have something to put out to the universe to make your spell happen. Now, whether that's dancing, chanting, um, tensing your muscles, you know, sitting and tensing everything and then letting it all go, um, sex magic, you know, whatever it is that you do to raise energy for your spell, do that. And then you will let that go to the universe. The universe will then take in the god and goddess and, you know, they will all take care of your spell from there on out, so don't think about it. Don't worry about it. Just let it go. Um, after that, then I do libation, and that is pretty much, I mean, once you work with all that energy, it's really good to drink and eat because you really want to ground yourself. Sometimes it takes a lot out of you. You may be lightheaded. You may be dizzy. Um, and then whatever I have left, and I always keep some left for the god and goddess as a thank you. I keep it in my goblet and in my little bowl with the cakes, and then I'll put it outside later. Hey, kitty. Um, then after that, I thank the god and goddess. Um, this is now closing the circle down. And I say, god and goddess, I thank thee for joining in my circle with me. And as all my magic comes to be, with harm to none, so won't it be. Go if you must, stay if you like, hail and farewell. And after that, you know, I may say something personal to the god and goddess, you know, just kind of talk to them a little bit, you know. But I really like to have those, um, those rhyming chants in there, because it just helps keep your focus going. Then after that, um, I release the watchtowers. I start at the west and move to the south, then the east, then the north, so I go backwards. 
and I say, you know, guardian of the west, element of water, I thank you for being here and witnessing this rite. Go if you must, stay if you like, so will it be. And I do that with all of the different elements, you know, same saying, just changing it, you know, south and fire, um, east and earth, north and air. And then after that, I will take, I will actually physically break the circle, and that's when I take my athame. I start at the west, and I move my way counterclockwise, and I imagine the energy being sucked back up into my athame. And as I walk around, I say, as the circle protected me on this magical day, I now release it back into my athame. I go around once, because the first time I did it, I went around three times because I was cleansing the space. So I go around once, and after that's done, if I'm inside, I'll hold the athame to the ground and imagine all the energy being let back out into the universe. Or if I'm outside, I will physically, you know, put my athame in the ground. And, ooh, got myself. I feel like if the universe is kind enough to lend you this energy to be working this, that it's nice enough to give it back. So I give it back, I neutralize it, and yeah. So that is how I cast my ritual circles. Now that is my very, you know, being a, a Wiccan for how many years I, you know, I ad lib, I, you know, do different things here and there, but I actually have it written out and that is exactly what I have written out to do. Now, every single witch that you talk to will be different. You know, some people steal from stuff from different things. So if you guys have any questions or anything, please feel free to let me know. And I hope you enjoyed seeing how I go about doing my witchy business. Uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and blessed be.